Bum 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 ha 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 Randall, that is one of the greatest songs that you've ever created in your entire life. Yeah. Randall, I have to ask, I don't know if I've asked you this before, um, where in your mind did that little tune come up from? Did you hear that tune somewhere else and then you decided to make that tune? Or wh why that tune? Uh, Randall, that is one of the greatest songs that you've ever I, I was just uh, pressing keys on the uh, keyboard and it came out. Oh, man. Well, thank God it came out. Thank God it came out, buddy. Yo! Visions and what up, the greatest emperor. Visions with that popcorn. Oh, yeah. Visions. I went to the movie theater. Randall, do you realize? No, it's Shao Kahn, the greatest emperor. Shao Kahn. Yeah, but, but I just shorted it to the greatest emperor. So, Shao Kahn gets really pissed off when you mess up his name. I, I didn't mess up his name. The Greatest Emperor. It's just an abbreviation. So anyway, Randall, do you know what movie I went and saw today, my friend? Uh, Ghostbusters. Yep. Visions. This will give you a little hint. Ha 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 ha! Collect this cup, Randall. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Uh... Randall? Are you really a collector, Pierce? Are you really? I am, Randall. I am. Today's topics are Ghostbuster Frozen Empire review, but it's going to have to be spoiler-free, Randall, because um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone else. So I'll talk a little bit about it, and I'll give a couple of details, but I don't want to give out too much, you know. All the Ghostbusters die, and then they have to catch themselves. <laughs> and then, and then before before the Ghostbusters die, Dan Aykroyd makes sweet, passionate love to Nev Campbell. Yep. So yeah, I mean there it is. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a spoiler-free review on that. I'll reveal a few things, and then I'm gonna do a nerd haul. And then Randall, have you seen the James Bond film, The Man with the Golden Gun? No. Nope. Well, I'm gonna review that. Which, shame on you, Randall. You should see The Man with the Golden Gun because it is spectacular, my friend. It is a great uh, movie. Is there a golden gun in it? There is a golden gun in it, Randall. You know. Yeah, I knew that much. I, uh, yeah. Schooling you on your uh, James Bond trivia. Oh, Ran Schooling well, you. Randall, you're about to own every single James Bond. Or almost every single James Bond because I, I, I don't have them all on DVD, but I have most of them on DVD. So I'm going to bring all those, buddy, down uh, to Florida whenever I come and hang out, which will probably be uh, next weekend. Because this weekend I've got the convention. Speaking of the convention, guys, tonight is the last night to buy your tickets for Super RetroCon. So go to www um, uh, Florida Toy Shows and expos.com or just go to their Facebook page at the same place. So, yeah. Randall... Uh, I, I think tickets, they weren't too bad. They were anywhere between $25 and $30, so not too bad. I think it was $15 for one day and then for the entire weekend. I think I paid like 30 bucks with tax. So it wasn't too, something like that. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. So, Randall, while I was at the movie theaters today, where were you? What were you doing? Randall? Hello. Uh oh, I think I I think I lost Randall again. Hang on, let me call Randall back. I was working on the cartoon, my friend. Working on the All right. cartoon. All right, now now I can hear you. So you were working on the cartoon? Hang on, Randall, let me call you back. As always. I love it. Give me a second. See, my internet is flowing. It's got to be Randall's. It has to be. It has to be. Anyway. 
How about James Bond Jr. cartoon from the 90s? Oh, my Lord. I have never seen that. Never even heard of that. That's pretty good, uh, Shao Kahn. That's pretty cool. All right, let me call Randall back. I may have to call Randall on the old uh, phone, though. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. I left my phone over there, too. I need to grab it, probably. Uh-oh. I love it. Every single time me and Randall want to be on a call together. <sighs> Fucking love it. Let me go give him a call. Hang on. Oh, I love it. Every single time. Every single time. Internet, you son of a bitch. Internet, you son of a bitch. See, my internet is fantastic. My internet is great. Why isn't Randall's? All right. Hello. Randall, I think I'm just going to talk to you on my phone because, as always, we talked for like 20 minutes before the show started. Everything's fine. Now the internet is just crapping out as fucking always. Yeah. So I'm just going to talk to you on my phone, buddy. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So what were you saying, Randall? I said uh, I was at home working on the cartoon. Nice. So, uh, what progress did you get done on the cartoon, my friend? I'm working on the flying scene right now. You said I could go out of order. Yeah, yeah. Is it the flying scene to Troll Cemetery, or is it another flying scene? Uh, first one. Nice. So, you got the elevator shaft done. Yeah, yeah. So, the transformation is done. I didn't do the music yet, though. You know what music to put in, though, right? Yeah. All right, good. But 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 you got the transformation, him ripping off his uh, security outfit. Yeah. Nice, nice. So we're that much closer to a uh, to, to a convention. I mean, to a uh, uh, to a cartoon, my friend. Uh -huh. So Randall, you've got to go see Ghostbusters: uh, Frozen Empire. It did not disappoint, my friends. It definitely did not disappoint. Yeah. Fears is going to give it about a 9 out of 10. It wasn't a perfect Ghostbuster movie, but definitely a solid 9 out of 10, my friends. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's what you gave, uh, start, uh, that's what you gave Ghostbusters uh, 2016, right? Nine fuck. No, fuck no, Randall. I gave that like a 3 out of 10. There's no... You were all over Leslie Jones. Like, I mean, Leslie listen, Jones. listen, Leslie Jones is pretty hot, my friend. She's pretty hot. But, no, I gave that, Maybe. yeah, that movie is so crap garbage, Randall. You, you don't think she looks a little bit like Donkey from uh, Shrek? Who? Donkey from Shrek. How dare you, Randall? She is a beautiful young woman. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Leslie, yeah. Yeah, she's cute. All right. She's cute. So. She's cute. I mean, she's not like a hot flaming model, but she's pretty cute. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, Randall. So the big question is, is are you going to go see uh, Ghostbusters sometime this week? Hell no. I'm going to wait for that to come out on cable when it's free. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Well... I know I'm probably going to, probably after the convention, I'm probably going to go see another movie. When I bought my ticket, uh, I, I was looking at all the other movie posters, Randall, and I saw that William Shatner made a uh, made a biography movie. So I'm going to go check that yeah, out. I got to go wake my mom up. Hold on. All right. All right. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, biography movie on Will Shatner. You guys know how much I love Star Trek. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, nice shirt, Fierce. Thanks, buddy. I thought it. I thought it would be most appropriate because I went to go see Ghostbusters. Me likey, me likey. That's right. It was a solid nine out of ten. Wasn't a perfect one, but yeah. Let's let's call Larry. Let's call Larry and get and get Larry's forte on this while I'm talking to Randall and Larry. All right, I'm back. All right, Rand. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna call Larry and see if he's seen Ghost. Yes, I mind. Damn it! Wow, Randall, you son of a bitch. So, Randall, uh, honestly, yeah, I don't mind if you call Larry. Larry's cool. Larry is cool. Larry is cool. Randall, did um, I highly suggest you go and see Ghostbusters: um, Frozen Empire. It was good. It was pretty good, my friend. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. All right, let's see if we can get Larry on the phone. So, Randall, have you had a good day, though? Huh? I ha have you had a good day? You know what? And I told him I've never heard of that one. I've never heard of it. You've never heard of James Bond Jr.? No, never. Shame on you, parents. Shame on you. Apparently. How dare you? I'm picking up. Larry's not picking up. I've never heard James of it. James Bond Jr. is a classic Ferris. How dare you, sir? Well, you know what, Randall? I'm going to go to YouTube right now, and I'm going to watch the trailer, because I've never even heard of it. And I've watched almost every James Bond movie alive. And and whatever I haven't watched, I've got all the James Bond movies now, so eventually I'm going to watch every single one of them. Randall, yesterday I watched um, Log from Ren and Stimpy. Do you remember Log? Randall? Randall? Hello? I think we lost Randall. Randall? He needs to get better internet, I swear to God. I'm done. Randall, if you're watching, I'll call you after the show. Anyway. Alright, here we go. James Bond Jr. I've never I've never even heard of this. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. James Bond Jr. intro. Oh, my Lord. This is a thing. I have... I have never heard of this. All right, let's watch this. Let's watch this. <laughs> You know what it kind of reminds me of? This cartoon kind of reminds me a little bit of G.I. Joe. A little bit. But this looks pretty cool. Look how he's coming through. He's got a job to do while he rescues the girl. James Bond Jr. chases girl around the world. That was pretty hilarious. That was pretty funny. I loved it. James, James Bond Jr. Love it. Fears, would you wear a wig when you go bald uh, like William Shatner has since the 70s? Uh, well, thankfully, I'm not going to go bald. So, yeah. Uh, hell yeah, nice collector's cup. Well, thanks, buddy. Vision says, I just wanted to give you uh, the heads up that whenever you call someone on the computer like that, it drops the output volume by about 
and we really can't hear much. Oh, really? Oh, damn. All right. Or we have to crank up the volume and blow our eardrums out uh, when the call ends. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Visions. Yeah, Randall, the internet is not working, buddy. So I will... Randall, if you just want to chat in the chat, that would be fantastic. But, I, Randall, I didn't want to keep bothering you and, like, keep calling you, buddy. But anyway. Well, so, Randall, whatever you want to talk about, just put in the chat. By the way, give my friend Randall a like and, and a sub at Cameo Man 2021 and the Mayor of Magic. Randall, I appreciate all your hard work on the cartoon. Thank you so much, buddy. Well, it was a big success. Not only did Fears get my collector's cup, I went and saw the movie. It was fantastic. Visions, have you seen it yet? If anyone's seen this movie, put a one in the chat. Also, Dragon. Dragon was trying to, uh, like, ruin it for me yesterday. And he's like, Fears, Dan Aykroyd's in it. Ernie's in it. I'm like, yes, Sega. They're Ghostbusters. I get it. So he didn't ruin shit for me. So nice try, Dragon, but you didn't do shit. Thank God the community came to my defense yesterday. So yeah. But yeah. That's good chat in the chat. Yeah, Randall, um, I just get sick of the internet dropping. I did like the book cover. Randall made me a book cover of The Lonely Ghost. And I'm going to post them on my Instagram so everybody can check them out. I think wearing hats constantly isn't good for hair. I mean, I'm not balding. I got a full head of hair. So, my dad never went bald. So, I don't think I have anything to worry about. All right. Well, let's start things off with a bang, my friends. Let's see. Uh, oh, Vision says, no, no, not yet. I was, I'm trying to get a bunch of work done. Nice. Nice. Well, you know, work comes before playtime. So, hopefully you get all your work done, buddy. That's right. Well, let's start things off with a bang and let's do a nerd haul. Well, let's start up with this. Collector's Cup. Check it out. Pretty awesome. Pretty sweet. All right. And then I got this metal... Ghostbuster tin with all my popcorn and I need, I need to wash it out but I'm gonna use this tin as a trash can in my bathroom so I'm gonna put this in the dishwasher and get all that butter out of it and then I'm gonna put a grocery bag inside this and this is gonna be my new trash can in my bathroom but look at all this artwork on it pretty sweet look at that nice I like it and then, fears could not contain myself. Bam! I got this. Oh, my Lord. The firehouse. Now, really, you're supposed to put popcorn in this, but what I'm going to do is, every movie of Ghostbusters, I'm going to put in this, and then I'm going to put it on the shelf. So... Anything of anything with Ghostbusters, like um, the real Ghostbusters cartoon is going to go in this. Ghostbuster 1, Ghostbusters 2, Ghostbusters Afterlife, Ghostbusters 2016. They're all going in this. And, uh, yeah. So I had to get it. I had to get it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, uh, Vision says, hey, beer man, you better be a good boy. Yeah, tell them off, Visions, because usually it's that guy telling us off, and we're like, we don't need to be told off because everyone's usually pretty chill here. So, yeah. If you watch all the way to the end, Marty McFly and Doc Brown show up, you, uh, you got to wait till the very end. Randall, you're hilarious. I waited till the very end. And there's one after credits, and it has to do with the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. So, but there is no Marty McFly, so don't be lying, Randall. Let's see. Let's see. 
Uh, great idea. Lots of doodads and jams and jellies and the echo cooler. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm going to put all my Ghostbuster movies and some Ghostbuster trinkets and this and add it to the shelf. So hell yeah. All right. I went to Goodwill. All right. Here we go. 50 first dates. Logan. Nice. Nice. The Watchmen. I've never I've never seen it. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. 21 Jump Street. Something called Donnie Brasco. I, I don't know what it is. But it's got Johnny Depp in it, so I'll definitely check it out. And then um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So, found some pretty good finds. Fifty First Dates is very romantic and funny. It is. Plus, I like Adam Sandler com uh, comedies. So. so, I've mainly seen all of these except for I've never seen The Watchmen. And I have no idea what Donnie Brasco is about. Uh, but it's got Johnny Depp in it, and I'm a big Johnny Depp fan, so we'll watch it. We, we will review it, and I'll let you know how it goes. So, yeah. All right. Let's put these off to the side, shall we? Decent pickups. I just watched Donnie Brasco last week. What's it about, Visions? Can you give me, like, a 10-second version? I, I've never heard of it. I don't know what it's about. It looks like a cop movie. That That's what I'm I'm guessing. I have no idea. But it's got, but it's got Johnny uh, Depp in it, and uh, he's usually a really good actor. So yeah, yeah, it wasn't too bad, buddy. I found some decent, some decent finds. I'll be honest though, they were kind of slacking on the movies this week. I try to go to um, to Goodwill at least once a week, at least. Some weeks, some weeks I can't go depending on how much I get paid and and when I gotta pay bills and shit and all that. All right. Next on the list. I am wearing this Hawaiian shirt this weekend, my friend. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing it. I'm probably going to wear this tomorrow. So I'm going to wear this tom tomorrow at the convention with my blue Converse shoes. And then on Sunday, I'm going to wear that Captain America uh, pink Hawaiian shirt. So that'll be good stuff. There we are. Let's see. Um... Vision says it's about the mob and Johnny Depp plays an undercover agent. Okay, cool. So I was half right. He's not really a cop. He's an undercover FBI agent. Okay, got it. Got it. There we are. Oh, man. I'm tired. All right, and then I got some... Uh, hmm. I may have to take a nap before I start editing a video tonight. I'm tired. I got some new jeans because I ripped one of my one of my jeans last weekend and I had to throw it away. I bent down to grab something and I tripped on something, fell and ripped the side of my jeans. So I got some new ones. So yeah. All right. Jason, get ready for some more steel, baby. So Fierce was at 45. Check it out. 46. 47. So I got the steel book of Super Mario Brothers. And then I've never heard of this one. Something called Dragonheart. I don't know what it is, but I can't wait to watch it. From the back cover, it looked pretty cool. And a crap ton of bonus features. So something called Dragonheart. It looks from the 80s and the 90s. So I'll probably like it. All right. So there we are. I'm slowly but surely creeping up to Jason. Jason's got 117. Now Fears has 47 steelbooks. So there we are. All right. There we go. Could you recreate the pants ripping for a funny video? I could, Visions. I could. I was bringing in some groceries. And... I must have put a grocery bag down. or something. I can't remember what I tripped over. And I went to close the door. And as I turned around, I tripped. 
and I fell and just like this, like it ripped from like here to here and I just fell down and I was like, oh shit. I'm like, I didn't think my pants would rip. So there you go. So yeah. Let's see. Stop it. Everyone, everyone's yawning fears. I know I'm so tired. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Yeah, it was embarrassing, Visions. It was embarrassing. I was like, I'm not that fat. I think it was just the way I landed. I must have landed wrong, and I, I, I ripped my pants. So it sucked. But I got a new pair of pants because I've lost weight. I haven't lost all the weight I've been wanting to, but I have lost weight. So there we are. I don't know about recreating the video, though. Yeah. All right. So, I'm probably going to make this a quick show because I am dead tired. I want to take a shower. I want to lay down and take a nap because I'm kind of dead to the world today. Work was crazy last night. So, and I, and I did some editing and I made some TikTok videos before I went uh, to work. So, I'm dead to the world, my friends. So, yeah. I may not even get to the man with the golden gun. I think I'm just going to review... Ghostbusters, uh, Frozen Empire, and I think I'm going to call it a day because I am tired as all hell. So I apologize, but I think it's going to be a quick stream today. But I just wanted to come on and say hello. But real quick before I go, let's review Ghostbusters Empire. Well, without revealing like the key points, all the main characters are back. The only characters that are not back are obviously Louis Tully. Louis Tully's not back because I don't know if Rick Moranis is ever going to do another movie. Obviously, Harold Ramis is not back because he passed away. But all the new Ghostbusters are back. All the old Ghostbusters that are still alive are back. Janine Melnitz is back. Slimer's back. Um... Not big Stay Puff, but the little, but the little, but the little Stay Puff Marshmallow guys. They're back. The librarian from the first one, she's back. The librarian ghost. Uh, I was looking to see if 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 Vigo, if Vigo the Carpathian, was going to make a cameo. No, uh, no cameo. No cameo from Vigo the Carpathian. Because I saw, because I, I, I saw some some classic ghosts. Slimer's a classic ghost. Um. Uh, the librarian is a classic ghost. I was like, I wonder if we're going to see Vigo. So yeah. Um, they actually took some bits and bobs from the real Ghostbuster cartoons. And I remember seeing some really distinctive ghosts from the cartoon. And they put them in this movie. So there we are. Um, the Ecto. The Ecto one is back. Um, better than ever. New new gadgets. Now, now on the uh, the Ecto one, they have a um, a drone uh, ghost trap. So some lady pushes a button. This little like box opens up. A drone flies out, and then they've got the controls, and they just fly up in the air near a ghost, and then they hit the button, and then. The ghost gets sucked into the trap, and then the drone returns to the top of the roof of the Ecto. So that was pretty cool. So they, so they got some new equipment. They have some more uh, proton accelerator um, beams. So the name of the pack is the proton pack, but the beam that comes out is the proton accelerator beam. I'm sorry, the proton acceler accelerator particle beam, excuse me. Proton Accelerator Particle Beam. God, that's a mouthful. So, they've updated the packs. They've added some new um, hand weapons. And they have the, and they have the drone um, ghost trap. And they have the original ghost trap. So, yeah. So, do I like the new equipment? Yes, I do. I do. Um, the firehouse is back. They're they're in New York. Uh, they're living and working. They're living at the firehouse. They're working at the firehouse. They so they move. Uh, so the Spangler family moves from that rinky dink little town in Wisconsin, you know, from from the third movie, and now they're in the big city. So uh, every single old Ghostbuster 
has a significant part. It's not just like a, a throw me, like, throw me away like cameo. Um, they have significant roles and significant parts in it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'd say the only the only reason why I didn't give it a ten out of ten, I would have liked to see Harold's ghost reappear, like how, how you saw Harold's ghost appear at the end of the movie uh, of the last one. In this new one, I would have liked to have seen Harold like help the Ghostbusters out again. Very good villain. So, a solid 9 out of 10. All right, guys, I've got to go. I stretched it out to 30 minutes because I'm so tired. There's never enough time in the day, and then sometimes working at night like really drains the energy because I'm, I am dead to the world. So, I will talk to you guys later. If I feel better and I get some sleep, maybe later on tonight, like very late, and maybe I could do a late stream before I have to head off to work. But tomorrow, big news. Saturday and Sunday, I got the entire day off. Super Retro Con. Oh, man. It's going to be good. Fears is going to pull out probably like, probably 400 bucks. Uh, and that's my budget for the whole weekend. It's either going to be 400 bucks or 500 bucks. So around there, that's what I'm going to pull out. That's what I'm going to pull out. And we'll see if I can find any uh, delicious jams and jellies. But anyway. My hat's off to the fans. Fears loves you. Fears cares about you. I'm, I apologize that I'm so tired, but I'm going to go take a snooze. So I will be back. I will be back tomorrow, and I will review day one of the uh, Super RetroCon. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my friend Randy in the chat. Cameo, Cameo Man 2021 and the Mayor of Magic. Follow me, Fears Man 26, Fears Vlogs, and... Uh, I'm taking off, so I will see you guys later. Peace!